Hello Doom Scrollers. Here's the belated Q&A video to celebrate reaching 200 subscribers, like two months ago. Even in my hiatus I've been gaining more subscribers, more than when I'm actually active. But I'm certainly not complaining. The reason this video has taken so long is due to multiple things. Such as laziness, and also things in real life I want to work on, such as my art. But also because I've been struggling to pick an aesthetic for my channel. The entire time I was putting together this video the first time around, I was caught up in the aesthetic, and it slowed me down. So I decided to settle with an aesthetic I loved ever since I was little. Revolutionary Girl Utana, which, spoilers, I'll actually be talking about later in this video. So enough battling. I'll talk more about the changes I'll be making to my content in a separate video. Let's start the Q&A. What was your favorite thing to do when you were little? Easy. I love to draw, specifically people. I had a formula for drawing characters. Females always had a ponytail. A sweetheart neckline dress. Tights represented by triangular legs and high heels, which I called clip-clop shoes because I kept forgetting what they were actually called, and the men had no clothes or accessories, only three hairs on top of their head. I drew hundreds of weird little comics that involved things like women being kidnapped by demons who forced them to be their ride, but their true love came along to rescue them, with lots and lots of kissing. And also zombies attacking people while they were on the toilet. What's your fave game in anime if you watch it? It's not clear and cut what my favorite video game is. I haven't played that many video games in my lifetime, and I usually am too impatient to finish them. The only video games I've played are Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Hyrule Warriors, Minecraft, and Breath of the Wild. I finished Skyward Sword, and I'm intent on progressing in Hyrule Warriors, but I don't play regularly. I'll go through periods where I play for long amounts of time, and then stop. I'm also bad at Minecraft. I think of an idea of something to build, and then barely begin. I only started playing video games when I was about 13. Before that I played hidden object games on my computer, which I loved. If you're wondering what they were, favorites were Witches Pranks Fox Fortune, Grim Legends The Forsaken Bride, Cursed Fates The Headless Horseman, Fairy Tale Mysteries The Beanstalk, Dreamscapes The Sandman, Bridge to Another World Burnt Dreams, and Grim Tales The Wishes. Which a granny game stole the intro from. I got a rush of nostalgia looking these up. In fact, I had to search the internet in order to find their names, some of them I'd actually forgotten. Great stuff. If I were going to to choose one of them as my favorite, it would be Skyward Sword, because there's a lot of nostalgia tied into it since its designs and story played a big role in my artistic development. I got inspiration from the concept art in my Hyrule Historia. And all Zelda games, minus Breath of the Wild which I'm sick of hearing about. Have a special place in my heart and are, in my opinion, the best game series of all time. And, on a side note, even though I never played them, the Metroid series art and music also had a role in my artistic development to a smaller degree. Specifically what I encountered in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which opened me up to sci-fi, a genre I'd completely rejected. Now to answering Nini's second question. What my favorite anime is, and if I even watch it, I wouldn't call myself an anime watcher. I watch very few anime, and do not consider myself a part of the fandom, which is... Cursed. I have a paradoxical hate-love relationship with anime. On one hand, I love the cute and pretty style. 
the dramatic expressions and the weird random things that happen that I don't understand. I also have taken a liking to horror manga, which I've never read. Just watched review videos about. Which is where I get much of my knowledge about anime. On the other hand, there are a lot of things I hate about the genre. Specifically the poorly written and excessively shrapnelized female characters. Especially the infantilized ones. Anyway, this is a rant video. The few anime that I watch are Attack on Titan, Sailor Moon, and Revolutionary Girl Tenna, which I mentioned earlier in the video. I'll talk about each of them. I like Attack on Titan because it's different from other anime. It doesn't contain any of the common things in Anna made that annoy me. Such as the shrekulized characters and confusing events. It's very straightforward and serious, and everything that happens has a purpose. And I think some of the things in it can relate to real world problems happening right now. I first watched Attack on Titan in late 2021 at a hotel. And after that I watched it religiously every evening. When the new episodes every Sunday stopped coming, and we were told we wouldn't get any new ones until next year. At first I was impatient to get more, but my enthusiasm died out. Now I just don't care as much. Years before I ever discovered Attack on Titan, I watched nearly every episode of Sailor Moon. I love the girly aesthetic, and how all of their weapons look like they'd make amazing children's toys, but it's very repetitive, and I got tired of it when I reached the final season, which I never watched. I might re-watch certain episodes, but it would be a chore to re-watch the entire show. I really just like it for the aesthetic. Revolutionary Girl Utena, which I mentioned earlier, is very surreal and unbeatable. And was the first anime I was ever exposed to before I knew what anime was or even that Japan existed. I was about five or so at the time. And my mom would only allow me to watch up to a certain point, which she deemed too mature for me, even though I already figured out what was going on. And after I watched it a second time recently, it probably wasn't anything I couldn't handle. The show is so subtle and skillful you can easily figure out what's going on without any gratuitous detail at all. I mean, even a five-year-old understood that Akio was in an inappropriate relationship with his sister Anthe and was forcing her to be in bad situations. Yes, I perfectly understood that. Anyway, the reason this anime was so special to me when I was little was mainly for the aesthetic. I've always loved roses, specifically the pink ones, but when I was little I was especially enthusiastic about them. And roses in pink are a big thing in Utena, so of course I was absolutely enchanted. I loved the intro and outro so much. I couldn't understand the lyrics, but I had the sounds memorized. At the time I didn't truly understand why I loved it other than the visuals were pretty. But now that I've re-watched it at an older age it means much more to me than the aesthetic and the fact that the protagonist has beautiful long pink hair, which I really wanted to have at the time. It's a heavily symbolic anime. Reality and allegory are nearly indistinguishable. There's symbolism within symbolism, like how a rose has layers of petals within more layers of petals. And I don't think there's one official way to interpret it. I highly recommend watching this anime. It's available on Crunchyroll and you can also find the episodes floating around on YouTube. What are some hobbies you have? 
Besides drawing, story writing, and making videos, I study philosophy and mythology. Mostly by watching YouTube videos and reading Wikipedia articles. I'm also learning how to sew, so hopefully one of my hobbies will be making clothes. I have so many character and outfit designs I'd love to make in real life. Your fab food. Either ribs or honey shrimp. It's hard to pick. I really like smoky sweet barbecue sauce, which I put on nearly everything. My entire household now calls it made us sauce, even on the grocery list. If you're wondering what my favorite dessert is, it's either chocolate chip cookies, lava cake, or pie with vanilla ice cream. Your fav anime character? Since I don't watch that many anime, there's fortunately not a boatload of characters to choose from. I guess my ultimate favorite would be Utena Tinju, because she's a gender-defying girl with long pink hair, which is what I want to be. My favorite Attack on Titan characters are Levi, Ackerman and Hanji Zoe. And no I don't have a crush on Levi. I like Levi because he is short and awesome, and we need more short men representation. I like Hanji because she is absolutely maniacal and adorable. And my favorite sailor from Sailor Moon is Mercury because she's the nicest and the prettiest in my opinion, and my favorite element is water. But I also like Saturn, because she's mysterious, and appears at the end. 1. Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Personally, I have a hard time finding YouTubers that I consistently watch so I was curious what your stance was. I'm getting out of the habit of wasting my time watching random stuff on YouTube, and I don't really have YouTubers I faithfully watch. So instead I'll list the main genres I gravitate toward and my favorite YouTubers who pertain to them. The genres I gravitate toward are art, movie book analysis and reviews, reactions to detestable Wattpad and webtoon stories, bad movies, and cringy TikTokers, and metal music. I probably missed some. Two. What are your biggest pet peeves? Wow! You asked the right person this question, because I am irritable AF. Everything annoys me, so the entire world is my pet peeve. But I'll be more specific, for the sake of brevity and list main irritants I encounter in my day-to-day -day life, so you get the idea. <laughs> my little sister my dog stepping on my feet the noises people make when they're eating you the spit moving around in someone's mouth in the YouTube video venting me from being able to watch it kissing scenes in movies all love songs pop music country music romance in general public displays of affection TikTok boys chats prissy people the smell of cooking chicken and much much more 3 what do you think of me I like you a lot you're one of my few most faithful followers. If I didn't have you, early, I'd have no one, since for some reason my approximately 200 other followers won't engage, or I'd have much more interaction. I really appreciate you. I also love your creepy cute aesthetic. I'm jealous that you have a trio of sisters to make videos with. I wish I knew you in real life. For, what is your most unpopular and controversial opinion about anything dart? I'm really curious what you'll say lol. This is really hard to answer, but I know that my followers are very accepting. I don't love or hate licorice. Never before in human history has someone had a neutral opinion of licorice. I've gotten into many heated arguments with people about it. I've lost friends and limbs. 5. What were your first impressions of Girahim? Was it love at first sight or did it take you a while to process his fabulousness? To be honest, I originally thought he was a weird looking girl. This was the first picture I ever saw of him and had no idea who he was. This was sometime in 2017. Then my mom commented that he was attractive and that got me thinking, well, maybe he kind of is and sooner or later I just fell in love with him. 
My crush on him lasted until early 2019, and after that I came to despise him and was ashamed to even speak his name. But recently, I've come to love him again. I don't have a crush on him anymore, but I acknowledge him as the king of fabulous. And finally 6. What is a weird random fact about you that no one knows? This one took some thinking. When I was really little, like about 5, I thought that when you paused a movie, an alarm would go off somewhere else, and the actors would stop, and if you reversed the movie the actors would do everything backwards, and so on and so forth, 24-7 without fail, I soon realized this was impossible, and was actually a little amazed when I found out that movies are recordings, thanks for watching till the end. Sorry this video took so long. Next time I'll try to be more timely. But as always, stay metal, little o play ideas.